Hey y'all, welcome to Sunflower Tasha DIYs. I'm Tasha. I like to do arts, crafts, DIYs, recreations, bobble journaling, thrift, and trash lips on my channel. I hope you guys enjoy my video today. Okay guys, let's go ahead and hop right into project number one. I picked this up from um, my Savers Mart for a couple dollars. I usually only shop there when they have their like 50% off tags. Sometimes I will pick up a few things if um, I need something, you know, or if I really want it. Um, but I usually try to wait until they do their um, sale. So here I'm taking my chalk paint and I'm just doing a little wash over top of it. I'm just rubbing on the paint and then using my... Um, baby wipe to just basically smooth that out and then i took the same chalk paint and i watered it down to do the sides um so it wouldn't be thick and it would soak into that um i don't even know what that is some kind of pressed cardboard material um at first i wasn't sure what this is but the bottom of it said it is a wall shelf so you hang it up on your wall for a shelf so I thought that was kind of neat. Um, and then once I was done, I also wanted to go ahead and show you that I did do the sides and all that. So it kind of looked completed. Um, and did the same thing. Just use my baby wipe wherever it dripped and stuff. I also got um, this little piece of fabric from one of my thrift stores. And I'm going to and that... Um, ring there it looks like the ring was from the dollar tree but i only i got it for uh, 25 cents and then i'm just going to cut about an inch which is like two of the lines and i'm just going to go ahead and rip that all the way across and then i did go ahead and pull off all the strings you know that come attached with this and then i'm just going to wrap it like so and um, as soon as I was done with that, I went ahead and I'm out of hot glue, you guys. I seriously need to go to the store. I have not even been to the store for hot glue. So this is what my fifth video now that I have not used hot glue. Don't ask me how because <laughs> it's been a struggle. So I also have this welcome sign. I believe this one comes in the, um, the pack from the Dollar Tree, like around the harvest time where it has harvest in there um and then i just added a couple of things of lamb's ear from the dollar tree and i'm also going to make me a little bow here with a strip of that fabric as well and um i also use my tacky glue to adhere that down as well and that's pretty much it oh i ended up not doing like a bow like that because it just it felt I just didn't like it. So I did a bow tie and then used a strip and then tied those two strips together. There we go. <clears throat> All right. And then I do go ahead and trim down these tails because they were getting a little bit long and in getting into the word. And I was trying to show you that was called lamb's ear. And it comes in like a little two pack thing. And then I'm just going to use a thumbtack here and just hang this reef that we made for it. And that's it for this one. <laughs> Let's hop into today's collaboration, Third Thursday Thrift Flips. I believe this may be my first time joining this collaboration. So hello, Marika and Tammy. I absolutely love you guys. Thank you for having me. Um, if you guys are interested in a playlist of all the crafters that join this playlist, please uh, click that link down in the description box so you can check out all these amazing crafters. Let's go ahead and hop right into project number two. So I have this bowl I got for 99 cents um, from Goodwill. And I'm just going to try to get my uh, heat gun here to adhere to remove this sticker on here. Now, I tried to use some Waverly Wax on this at first, and I don't know what I was thinking. I probably wasn't, as usual. And yeah, I don't know why I was thinking this is gonna just darken up with the wax when there's clearly something already on top of it. 
and I did not feel like sanding this down a lot like and I knew if I added chalk paint it was going to be all weird and stuff but I did it anyways <laughs> so I add a couple of layers of chalk paint and um, inside the bowl I really didn't really care too much about because um, you're not going to see it but I did use the least uh, like a smooth grit like a finish sandpaper and just sanded it down a little bit so you couldn't see those lines from the paintbrush. I also found these cute um, little cotton picks as well from, um, I wasn't sure if that was Goodwill. It might have been Goodwill. I couldn't, I, it went too fast for me. Um, and then I'm just using some Dollar Tree rub-on transfers, you guys, to put on, on front of this. And I hope you guys enjoy my little farmhouse um, creations today. And I'm also going to use these two pieces as well to kind of just, you know, form my own little pattern here. And... I do that on both sides of the cow. All right, let's hop into the last project today. Um, I also found this thing from my Savers Mart um, a long time ago. I've had it for a minute now. Or no, not this one. I've actually just recently found this one. This one I did not get 50% um, off because they did not have that 50% uh, off sale that day that I went. That's right. Now this, it looks like somebody already might have DIY'd it and put like some kind of gold stuff all over it. I put my black um, permanent ink all over it. And then once I started doing that, I noticed like in the little crevices, there was like dust and stuff. So I just went ahead and um, sprayed this down with some water and just wiped it off. And once I was finished with that, I'm going to take some of these lamb's ears that I got from um, Walmart. And I'm just going to trim them down. Here I'm showing you this way, which I don't end up doing it like this. I ended up um, changing my mind on the placement on the bottom. Um, but here I'm just trying to struggle and trying to cut those things. Arthritis and cutting don't mix very well. <laughs> Or I should say just using strength in your hands. Um, and then I had these little extra leaves. I don't know what I end up doing with those. Actually, I do. I actually end up using those. At first I was like, eh, it's kind of dull. Then I found this that I also picked up um, for a dollar at one of the thrift stores. And I put it in here like this at first. But once I started putting all the lamb's ears around it and the cotton, it just kind of like hid the sign. I was like, well, that was pointless. So as I'm fiddling here with this thing, now you could put a candle in this too, but I ended up grabbing some Dollar Tree little square cubes, glued a couple of them together, and then I'm going to glue it to the bottom of the house. That way it raises it up. And I kind of actually wished I would have raised it even more um, once I like did the final reveal and like did the video and stuff. I was like, oh, I should have made that house a little bit taller because I feel like it's, I don't know, I feel like it should be up higher. But you guys have to let me know what you think on this one, if I should maybe raise it a little higher or just leave it as is. But I really love this. This turned out super cute. And I have a lot of like this black iron like stuff in my house. Um, so uh, this will actually match really well in my decor. So I'm probably going to keep this one and add it into my living room. I think it will look super cute with some of my other decor that I've already made because most of my decor I have made. I think I have a few things on my wall that I did not make but other people have bought me. <laughs> so of course I have to use my Aileen's uh, tacky glue because your girl is out of hot glue. So yes, this was a struggle <laughs> trying to get everything to stay and sit, sit still until that glue, uh, you know, sat. 
Oh, and I'm so sorry if you hear all these weird noises. My little doggy just jumped up into, we have like this little bench seating area with a bay window. And she likes to jump up there and open the curtain and get her some sun. <laughs> so she's making a lot of noise in the background. So sorry about that. And I probably should have speeded this up just a tad bit more. So I am so, so sorry about that. But here I was just grabbing a, a piece of that, um, yeah, that fabric. And I made a bow out of it too. I put it at the top, but I was like, yeah, I don't really like that because it was covering up the little handle. So I moved it down and that's it, you guys. Let's go ahead and jump into the final reveal of all my projects today. This is the first one. You will have to let me know if this welcome wall shelf brief project <laughs> is your favorite today. And I just added a stem of cotton that, and that cotton came from Hobby Lobby. And then this little bowl, I just flipped over one of those galvanized buckets from the Dollar Tree and just sat it right on top. Super cute. Love it. And my last project today, um, this cute little lantern with the house. You see how low that house is sitting? I feel like it needs to be up high, like it's a birdhouse or something. I don't know. You guys let me know. Should I um, raise it up higher or just leave it alone? All right, guys, here is all three together. Please let me know which one is going to be your favorite today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to everyone in the playlist, you guys, and give everyone a comment. That really, really helps us, and we really, really appreciate that. It boosts us out into the YouTube world for other people that like crafting as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye. I'd like to thank the host today for having me on the playlist and thank you to all my subscribers and all your continued support here on my channel. If you are new here, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. It really helps me grow on YouTube and I appreciate all that you do when you do that. Also, if you hit that bell button, you can be notified every time I upload a new video. I want to say thank you again for watching Sunflower Tasha DIYs. You can follow me on Instagram on my personal account, or you can follow me on my gallery account. My personal is obviously my personal, and then my gallery is just where I post pictures of things that I had made on my YouTube channel. Once again, thank you so much for all that you do and all your continued support. Bye!